Hello, my name is uh, Professor Richard Epstein. i am been living in uh, Asia now for almost 10 years, about eight or nine years, nine years in Singapore, and about a year now, uh, coming on to a year now in uh, Chengdu in China. My profession is human behavioral economics uh, with a specialty in uh, economics and behavioral economics and genetics. So coming to China, I think the emotion that I had was actually great surprise because you, I came to China with some kind of uh, maybe preconceptions because I come from uh, Western countries uh, about what China would be like. To my happy surprise, uh, China was quite different than I had imagined. I think one of the things that struck me was uh, one, how developed China is. You read about it in the newspapers, but till you see it, I think it's, it's another experience when you actually uh, see how people are living and also how people are prosperous. The other thing is that people are seem quite happy. They're uh, overall a very good impression of, of, of China, uh, perhaps different than what, what I ex had expected when I first came. Because I think every everybody coming from the West has a certain image built up by the the newspapers you read, etc. But it, it really, uh, China, just completely different from what I what I expected. And different in a very positive, good way. <laughs> Coming to China was uh, basically an opportunity to continue my research. I had been working with a group of uh, behavioral economists in uh, Singapore, but then the opportunity came up uh, to come to Chengdu to University at Sufei, and Sufei offered me the opportunity and my my good colleague here, Professor Su Hong Chu, to come here and continue our research. Uh, I like doing research and I like working with Professor Chu and Shang Du and Sufei offered us the opportunity to continue. So I grabbed it, <laughs> very happy. I think uh, China in general and Sufei in particular offer a lot of opportunities to do good research. Not just me, I think right now we have a group of uh, maybe seven or eight economists and other people working here, and a number of them are from, are from foreign countries, at least one American uh, besides myself. So uh, they were also attracted to Sufei and, and our particular group. So we have an international group of local Chinese as well as foreigners who see the opportunity in China and at Sufei in particular. Sufei has good conditions for research in my area anyway. I'm very optimistic. China has uh, tremendous momentum. I think overall, China seems to be doing everything right. So, I mean, it, it has a very strong educational system. Chinese, I think, naturally work hard. Also, Chinese, are, many of them are naturally talented. The, the social system seems to reward hard work, initiative, and innovation. I think if, if China continues on its current course, I mean, that's as it's predicted, they're going to surpass America in, in many categories. I mean, my own personal view is I'm pessimistic about the United States and much more optimistic about China. I, I really think China is, well, certainly a, a, the second major power in the world, and it seems to be uh, I mean, the second most influential power in the world economically and many other ways. And I think that will just continue to increase, to gain momentum. I think I'm impressed in China but overall, the harmony and society, people getting along with each other and society functioning properly. So people are doing well economically, they're happy, everything works. I, I went on a trip and you see the infrastructure in China, the, the roadways, it really looks like the, the best of, any, of anywhere. And I recently took a local trip in Chengdu, Sichuan, and took the high-speed railroad. I mean, it's, it's really fantastic, you know, and... <laughs> That's, that's the kind of things you'd expect to find a country that, you know, it's infrastructure flourishing, decent economic opportunity, good educational system. I mean, at the university here, the students are highly motivated, work hard. I have no specific plans. And also, I must say, because of the virus business, one feels a bit less enthusiastic about traveling. So I, I don't go back to my own country because we're not doing well in terms of the virus. It's a lot safer in China. So right now I'm uh, going to stay in China and, and probably stay in, except for a trip to Hangzhou, maybe Shanghai, uh, 
pretty much hang around Shangdu and do my work. I don't know if any who will see the interview, but anybody's thinking about coming to China, uh, I recommend it. <laughs>